everyone so welcome back to daily web coding so in today's video i'm going to show you the easiest way to enable dark mode for our next application that using tailwind css all right so so as you can see right here have the simple next application that just have one button and the background dark so our goal is whenever i click on the light button right here it's going to change to the light seams all right so let's do that so if you haven't set up Tailwind already, uh, you can go into this um, documentation. I'll leave the link in the description. It is really easy to set up Tailwind. Just follow the instruction right here. Okay. So first we need to go into Tailwind.config and then we need to add the dark mode class to enable the Tailwind node that we want to do dark mode. So when you change this file, Tailwind.config right here, you need to restart the server for your next application otherwise it won't pick up the chain that you made inside here all right so next is you need to go into the um the npm to install one package so i use this package right here called next.seam please go ahead and do that i have already installed this one already so after you install you need to go into the apps dot uh, underscore dot apps so you need we, we can import seam provider that come from this package right here. So from seam provider, um, I'm gonna set the default seam. This is what I want to do. You can go into the documentation to read more about it. So you can see this is how it used. And so this one, it have like this default seam. So by default, they're using system, but I want to use the DAC as my default. All right, so next we go into the index.js. So inside here, I'm gonna use the hook from the, uh, our package. It's called use seam. And inside here, we're gonna have two variables. So the first one is gonna be the value of our seam. And the second one is the, like the set seam of the, yeah, it's gonna be a function that enable to set seams. So if you console.lock this one, so let's say I'm gonna console.lock seams right here. So I'm gonna do F12 and I come back here. So you can see the value is dark. So that's why, because I set the default, it's gonna be dark right here. Very nice. So the next thing is gonna be really simple. What you need to do is you're gonna do listen on the on click on this function right here. Okay. And then you can set the set seam to the value that you can ask, okay, if the seam right here, if equal to dark, then we can change this one. To, when on click, we're gonna change this one to light. When it's light, you can change this one to dark. And right now, if I click right here and you can see the value right now is changing to light. And also this value is also add to the local storage. So you can see when we click it changing right here as well. And then we want to change the value and when we click on this one as well, right? So I can what I can do, I can do something like this. And then to enable our dark scene, we can just add the dark right here. Okay. So right now when I click right here, so you can see right now what dark mode is enabled all right pretty easy right so okay that i think that's pretty much it but when you use this one so as you can see the value it try to read is from the local storage so there's going to be some problems which is going to be hydration problem which is also mentioned inside the documentation of this one as well so what is that? So let's say, let's try to have a try to, uh, to hydration problem. So what I'm going to do now is let's say I'm trying to make this one into its own component. So hopefully I can reproduce the uh, error. So let's do that. I'm going to do the components, uh, components. And then inside here, I'm going to do, uh, let's say, button. And then we're going to do .js and I'm going to do C, and then I'm going to paste everything that we have here. And then we also need to use this one right here instead. Okay. And then I'm going to cut everything from here, here and here and save. And let's say I'm going to try to put our button from here. So right now it's not, uh, I don't have this, um, value error so as you can see right here there's no hydration error so let's say what if i try to use the value right here so uh, let's say i'm going to try to display this value uh, seems right here for our component so as you can see right now uh, we have this hydration problem so this is 
um, I'm trying to make the error, but uh, most likely if you might not want to do this, you might not cause an error. But if you run into this problem error, um, you can check the documentation, the, how they solve it, but I'm gonna show you how I solve this one. So how I solve this one, the reason that we have this one is because our page right here will be rendered on the server side, but our component right here, we need this value right here. It's need from the client side, which is to read from the local storage. That's why we got this problem. It's mismatch between server and the client side. So to solve this one, what I what I did is I'm um, not import this way. So I'm gonna use the dynamic import from Node.js. I'm gonna do import dynamics, and then from here I'm gonna change this one so to something like this. So I'm gonna do cons boom is gonna be equal to um, dynamic, oops, it's gonna be dynamic, and now we can have this one wrap inside, and this one is gonna be the arrow functions, and then we're gonna have like the import around our string right here, and then we're gonna tell that, okay, this component right here, it's not gonna render from the SSR, so which means that this component right here is rendered on the client side, okay? The SSR here means server side rendering. So when I do this, so as you can see, it changed and then I can click right here, it works as expected. Okay, but this one is just I reproduce an error, but it somehow if you run into this error while using this library, so this is the way to solve it. And also there's another way that was written in the documentation as well, please go ahead and if my solution didn't help you, you can uh, use the example from this documentation as well. All right, so I think that is pretty much it for our video. Thank you for watching and all right, see you guys in the next video. Peace.